So today is going to be a fantastic review. Yeah, it's going to be good. For aldehydes and ketones. Uh -huh. And we're pretty much going to go over every single type of reaction okay. for difficulty level one. We're going to start right now with predicting the product for each reaction. I'm going to give you several of these. Okay. So I want you to start here. Okay. We're going to build what the product is. Mm -hmm. And if you can also name what this type of reaction is. Oh, okay, okay. I know for sure this one is just going to switch out the R group with the ketone at, in this step. Is it going to do the same thing up here? Are we just going to get NH3 attached to where the oxygen is? So not NH3 completely. Let's start building okay. what, what you're thinking. Let's do it. And do you know the name of this? It is, wait, I know that there's like different ones like hydrogens and things. Is that one just an enamine or does it have like a specific name? So it's it's not an enamine. You're close. It's a... Amine? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm like, so I'm this, like this, is like... this is an amine formation. Oh, okay. And then again, it just goes back to the different types that we saw. Yes. Right. All of these are ones to definitely remember the differences. So this is a different type of amine because we don't have R groups in this case. Yeah. Just because we're given ammonia. So let's keep going. So great okay. with the first one. What about Thank this God. one? And that's honestly it for that first one. Perfect. So it's still a type of amine, amine formation. formation. So mm -hmm. both of these are. Now we can keep going with this reaction. Okay. And what happens with this? Do you remember what type of reaction this is? Isn't this one just like hydrolysis? Good, it's hydrolysis. Okay. In this case, is there an alcohol that's going to get formed? So it's not an alcohol with hydrolysis. I want you to remember the specific type of reaction. Mm -hmm. Some reactions are reversible. Yes, that's true. And this is technically that. Actually, it is that. This oh. is a reversible reaction. When we incorporate hydrolysis of amines, mm -hmm. I know that this is actually going to revert back to our starting materials. Oh, so you go back to the carbon. Yes. Okay, the, okay, okay. Back Perfect. And then let's also incorporate what we had initially. So this is exactly what we started with, right? Our starting mm -hmm. materials. We have our ketone and we have our amine. That's what hydrolysis does. I see. So that's the reversible okay. reaction. Like I can literally go back mm -hmm. and forth. That's a reversible reaction that I do recommend knowing okay. because you may be expected to know some of the reversible reactions or even show it. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're going to keep going with these types this? of reactions. Yeah. What happens here? Okay, this one is acetyl formation. Beautiful. I've been studying that one. Good. <laughs> so we'll always start with that ketone or aldehyde, but in this case... Perfect. You could either keep it as just the abbreviated or actually show the structure which you were about you do to that. do. Mm -hmm. yeah, either one is correct. Okay. So if we're looking at what this is called technically, mm -hmm. though some professors may say, okay, it's an acetal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Technically, you would hear this as a ketol because it originates from a ketone. A ketone. Gotcha, gotcha. So some professors may decide, okay, if it's from an aldehyde, the correct name mm -hmm. is an acetol because it originates from an aldehyde uh -huh. versus, so it would, which would look like this, right? It has okay. a hydrogen. Mm -hmm. But if it originated from a ketone, a ketol. Gotcha, okay. But a lot of times, majority of professors just, just go okay. with, with acetol, correct? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So keep going. Not okay. done yet. Then we got hydrolysis, mm -hmm. and then we go back to the starting product that's in this it. case. Okay, that's easy to remember. Unless and the mm -hmm. group right here. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Go so. exactly back to our starting material, which means this is also reversible. It's another mm -hmm. reversible, reversible reaction, reaction to remember. Okay, that's good to know, because my professor emphasized that a lot. Yes. So that's good. Good. And we're going to have two of them. Yes. Oh, that's right, because excess. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So our ethanols, we have two of them because, yes, there's excess. Mm -hmm. That's why we ended up getting two OR groups. Mm -hmm. And, yep, this is going to be on your exam. Oh, 100%. Like 100%. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know it will it's be. Been, yeah. Whether it's the mechanism or just understanding, predicting the product, yeah. knowing how to go back to the reversible reaction. Yeah. He may even just ask you which ones are reversible. You know, like as a multiple choice that's question. True. Okay, I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, that's yeah. So true. knowing that this is a really important one, and then let's keep going. What's this one? This one is another amine formation. Keep going with your thought. Build the product. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I see what you're talking about. So Me in this too. case, it's technically not an imine. Uh -huh. It's an enamine. And I mean, oh, there's two R groups. Oh. It's dependent on whatever our amine is. Oh, I'm with you now. Okay. So this is the N-amine formation. Going back to what we have, I know there are oh. two R groups here that will add on, mm -hmm. and our double bond is going to change. And that would come down here, and then yes. we add the. Oh, okay. And it, so, so going back to what we saw before mm -hmm. with the uh, amine, it was either ammonia 
or a primary amine. Oh, I see. It's a secondary. Uh huh. So secondary would make it an N amine mm -hmm. with the two R groups. Okay, yes. that makes sense. I'm with you. Keep going. What's this reaction? This one is N amine formation. It's not NH2. in this case because there's two NH2s. The N amine formation we saw, oh, that's a secondary amine. Oh, okay, okay. I know this, which one this is. Okay, because it has a two NH2 groups. Good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I know it. I know it. If you know the product, that's going to help you as well. Because don't you just attach both of them? Good. Okay. I'm like, I know that much. Okay, I'm with you now because we have two. Because you keep the carbonyl group, right? And then you still add the NH. You keep the double bond. The carbonyl group is, is gone. Oh, the yeah, I mean, sorry. Gone. I meant the oxygen mm -hmm. leaves, but you leave the double bond, right? Correct. And you add the two NH2 yes. groups. Okay, okay. I'm with you. That one? That's correct. Okay. This is hydrozone. Hydrozone, that's right, because yep. it has that extra. Mm -hmm. So now we're going here, mm -hmm. right? Hydrozone, okay, I have that NH2. Mm -hmm. And then this isn't a specific type of amine. Mm -hmm. It's something a bit different that we haven't seen. But yeah, we've already saw each one of these. I see what you're We're now making our way here. Okay, okay. And do we remember what happens with the base? This is a very specific name for a reaction. I'm not sure. I'm okay. Working. It's a type of reduction. Oh my gosh, So the yeah. Wolf-Kishner Wolf reduction. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what it does? Wolf-Kishner. Oh, it was like the last thing I studied. You had to guess. This is a I test. I yeah. would, my educated Your guess. educated guess. <laughs> I would want to say that it somehow adds an OH to it, like an alcohol somewhere. Realistically, it'd probably add it here. In my head, that would make sense. So I, I want you to think of that. Reduction typically does Reduces. what? Reduces, mm -hmm. which it means... Keep going with your thought. It takes away usually like carbon or like an atom or like it makes it smaller or something. Makes like it breaks a bond. Okay, right, okay, right. A bond. higher bond, like a double or a triple bond, it will then reduce it down to a single, single okay, I'm with or you. a double if it's a triple. Uh huh. Because what you just mentioned was an oxidation reaction where we're adding an oxygen. Okay, that's true. So I'm gonna do that. So so keep like keep that with that educated guess uh -huh. where you're like reduction doesn't add an oxygen, that's oxidation. Reduces, okay. Right. Reduction I know removes a double bond. Mm -hmm. It actually will cleave this entire thing. So oh. we're just going to have an alkane. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. right. Oh. Let's build that. But that's what I want you to lock in. Reduction is going to reduce that double bond. Okay. What's the reagents for this? Like, what do I need to know to start with that? It's both of these together. Oh, okay. So I'd say that yeah. this entire reaction, so Would be one and two steps is okay. the Wolf-Kishner. That's what I remember. Okay. This first step is just the hydrozone formation. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm with you. I'm but with all you. together. Cool. Um, and then is that with this? I'm honestly, this is something I haven't really practiced too much. But this is, is done. Just that? Okay. It's just that. This completely leaves. All of that. Okay. And we're just left with, I mean, we still have the A same amount propane. of carbons. Mm -hmm. Right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Done. Okay. Plus, I would also say to remember this type of reaction because what if a synthesis question yeah, went from, oh, steps. we went from a ketone and then we somehow went to just an alkane. Oh, this would be ideal. This would be okay. ideal to remember. Okay. Yeah. That's good. What about this one? Okay, this one is another one of those nitrogen ones. So I'm going to just start building what I know. Good. Does this one add, is this the N with the alcohol group good. attached to it? Yes, it okay. is. Do you remember what that's called? Oh, you just had it up. Um, <laughs> I know. They have funky names. I know, I know it's they're different. they're weird. I, I, I even struggle with the first two, which are still somewhere. Is it hydrozone? No. We so this, this was hydrozone. hydrozone. Okay. Yeah. Then I don't remember. I'm blanking on the last this one. This is an oxime. Oxime. Okay. So oxime formation. I'm going to go back to this. Uh -huh. It's like everyone, everyone lock in yeah, this. this. I know they're really similar. And even uh, the names. Those ones are the ones that are the These sound the same. Yeah. Uh, this is just completely different. Mm -hmm. Knowing that these two are derivatives of this first one, this is going to be important to understand the differences. Because mm -hmm. you could also get maybe a question where it asks you to match or it can get a multiple uh -huh. choice question and you had to remember what these look like. Okay, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. Okay. Next one. What yes. happens here? It basically will take either a ketone to, isn't it a secondary alcohol? Good. Or an aldehyde to a primary alcohol. Beautiful. Okay. I, that's not as much as I, I don't remember what the name's called, but. This is a type of hydrogen nucleophile hydrogen, for yeah. a nucleophilic addition reaction. Oh, okay, Is that what okay. you're looking for? I think that's okay. it. Hydrogen nucleophile. I can't remember what it was. Okay. On that one. And then same thing on the bottom Beautiful. one. Beautiful. You didn't get tricked. We love it. Like, I throw these out of love so I you love don't it. get this wrong. <laughs> I want you wrong. to be so ready. Yes. Perfect. And then the other way that you could see the same reagent mm -hmm. is with an alcohol. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So it could have a different alcohol on the bottom, mm -hmm. but 
doesn't matter which one Saw's it is. First step, same I camera. don't want you to, you know, think, oh, that's something totally different. Uh, we're now going to add an OR group. Nope. No, it is just it. reducing this. Okay. So both of these are forms of reduction. Yes. Okay. Go for it. This one's Grignard reagent. Beautiful. I love this one. We reduce down the carbonyl group to an alcohol, and we add this group at Beautiful. the beginning. Done. Um, the top one, I know KCM, but I can't remember when. Educated guess. What do you think the product would be? Are we turning this to a single bond and then attaching the C? Your part, part of it's right. So start building it. Okay. So part of it is correct. We're not completely there yet. You want to draw the triple bonds in that No, one? no, you're okay, good. Okay. You can just leave it like this. Okay. So half of it is right. Would it be marked correct? No. You might either be given, you know, partial credit or zero. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is the cyanohydrin formation. Okay. So it's still a form. Actually, both of these are a form of nucleophilic mm -hmm. addition. But what happens is we have the cyano portion. Uh -huh. Hydrin is the, the OH, OH portion. Mm -hmm. Oh, so is that just added to that carbon? Correct. Oh, okay. It's not that commonly seen, but I wanted to throw it just no, in I'm case. Glad. I totally forgot about this one. Yeah. It's not too bad, not too but bad. yes, this is one that they, you typically yeah, forget, yeah, no, that's what but it can be thrown. Would you see this with only these reagents or the other things? As long as you see like an the, HCN, should you assume that it's the re or like With a ketone, yes. A ketone okay. or aldehyde, yes. Okay. And then typically it is potassium, but we could have a different spectator ion. Oh, okay. That's the only thing I can really think of them changing. Okay. But again, it, it depends on your starting material, right? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's okay. the, the only thing you guys have learned. But yes, it, it is seeing both of these together. Okay, that helps. Okay. Go for it. I know this one. Okay, this is a Wittig reaction. So basically, you just take the double bonds and connect them. Good so far. And then where the oxygen was, this will now connect. Mm -hmm. So it'll be... Three carbons, yep. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, because we could always check too. This only has one hydrogen, right? Mm -hmm. There's one, two, three bonds. This is a CH2, CH3. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I like that. Typically, when we do have E and Z isomers, mm -hmm. when this is not the same, you know? Yes. We, like, let's say in this case, we didn't have right. that, or this was a hydrogen. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. If, mm -hmm. if this was a hydrogen. Like we started with the aldehyde mm -hmm. or something, yeah. If that were the case mm -hmm. and our ILID did not have an electron mm -hmm. withdrawing group, mm -hmm. we would favor the Z, Z yes. versus if this did have an electron withdrawing group, we would favor the, the e. e isomer. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. In this case, we're not necessarily going to see that just because these are the same. Mm -hmm. And so you said this was the... Wittig. Vintage. Vintage. Oh I know, gosh. I know. I said that I so know. confidently. I but was like, well, it's, it, it's W. I forgot but, too. Oh, Vintage. <laughs> Isn't this one um, Bayer's Villager? Good. Yeah? Okay. There's so many of them. I'm like, there are. the names. I'm like, if I can get the names and I can remember the reagent and what happens. Okay. I would um, also say it's important to remember some of the names because that can be baked into the question. Yeah. And that's helpful know. to remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't this the one where you add an oxygen? Good. Okay. And the most substituted or if it's a hydrogen. Good. But yes. in this case... These are equally though, mm -hmm. right? So I could just end doesn't up adding it. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's it doesn't fine. matter. You're only gonna get one product. And then we get a ketone to give us an ester. Good. Yeah. Gives you an ester, perfect. If this had a hydrogen here and now we have an aldehyde, yes. what would we get instead? Carboxylic acid. Beautiful. So yes, so. if that were the case, we would have gotten oh, a carboxylic yeah. acid, but because this was a ketone, we get an ester. I'm with you, I'm with you. Good. Love that one. What's this one? You had to guess. I'm trying to think of all the reactions really mm -hmm. fast. I'm trying to think which one would have the alcohol in it. It's similar to the acetal formation in the look of it. Right. It does look similar. I'm not sure. This is a hydration. Hydration reaction or a hydrate formation. Oh, yeah. This yes, is a hydrate. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I would say you probably don't even cover this too much. Like, you briefly cover it. You maybe look at the hydrates for equilibrium questions mm -hmm. or yeah. ranking, you saying. know. But just in case they threw it. This would be the reagent. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's water with alcohol. Exactly what it that is. That does actually make sense, yeah. though. Okay. It's really similar to everything else that yeah, we've it looks seen. Yeah, similar, too. But knowing the names will honestly save you. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Okay. Hydrate. So we just switch out. So ketone will give me basically a dial. That's it. This That's is a hydrate. Hydrate. Okay. From this. I got a, that one on your practice. This is hydration under basic conditions. Oh, okay. That makes We could sense. also see an acid catalyzed uh, oh, hydration reaction. True. Yeah. Okay. 
So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.